Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 871 D4, and this problem really hits different. So let's see what the problem states. So there is a carnival game, and there are huge pyramid of cans of 2023 20, rows, uh, numbered in a regular pattern as shown. So these are this is how the cans are stacked, and the numbers are like each of the numbers square. Now you throw a ball at the pyramid, and it hit a single number with a value n square. This causes all the cans that are stacked on top of this to fall. That's it. That is uh, can n square falls, then the cans directly above n square also falls. For example, the picture above shows the cans that would fall if 9 square is hit. So if 9 square is hit, 5 square and 6 square are adjacent to it. So this also gets hit. 5 means 2 and 3 are adjacent. For 6 also 3 is adjacent. For 2 and 3, 1 is adjacent. So everything that is adjacent on the top, everything gets hit. So that's what they are telling the question is you will be given a value n you have to find out what is the sum of all these numbers above remember the cans value is represented by n square so how is it written it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 next row will be 16 17 18 19 20 like that it will be similar to that now thinking of this question uh, for 9 they already told you 9 it will be uh, 156 how did we get J just uh, take the sum of all the red values then you will get 156 now they already gave you this problem so uh, we might think of many things like pascal triangle how that arrangement comes we want to see something that is generalized solution so only solution that uh, is proposed is uh, there are many ways but the most simplest way which I saw was the editorial one. So what they are doing is just see. So you have a rectangular shaped stack right they just change the shape to a diamond one. So instead of this rectangle they changed it to diamond. So now the condition is satisfied there is nothing wrong right everything if 9 is there everything that is adjacent to it that is 5 6 3 everything that is adjacent to it are ma made as red. Now what they are doing is after changing the shape you are rotating this number. Now what happened after rotating the number the same thing only it is converted to a matrix that is a 2D matrix. Done. After converting to 2D matrix, we found that from this we derived to a 2D matrix. From converting to 2D matrix, how do we know what all numbers are affected? That is very simple here. So if you see 9, what is the number that is, see if it is above, right? If it is above, if we shifted 90 degree anticlockwise, it is left side, right? Left side. And this is also above. See, this is also left this is also right we shifted left so what all numbers we need to find from nines the left edge and nines up edge so both of these values again if 5 comes left of 5 is 2 and left of 3 then 3 comes left is 1 above nothing is there for 2 above 1 and left nothing is there so one more example would be uh, let's say if the number is like uh, okay let's say 13 itself okay if the number is 13 what all will be affected left side 9 then 9 and 5 for 5 it is 3 and 2 for 8 it is 4 and 5 for 2 it is 1 for 3 also it is 1 so everything that is on top of it this entire square shape should be taken into account and the sum should be the sum of all this so now you saw something right they gave you the constraints like it can be like 10 power 6 so 10 power 6 is such a large number and they are also telling that you have 2023 cans uh, 2023 rows so it's very large now what did we observe here is we are having uh, for 13 also we are computing for 9 right for 9 everything same procedure only we are doing for 9 also we computed for 5 now even if for 9 also we computed for 3 so this thing is happening again and again and again so what do we do we do something called as prefix sum here now if you are familiar with co other concepts it will be like linear prefix sum in this case we are doing a bit modified version of it that is two dimensional prefix sum how to do two dimensional prefix sum let us know uh, i'll help you with the help of an example so let's say that let's assume this is the array okay and this is the prefix sum okay so you are having an arrangement like this that is one two see 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिमिलर टू इट हाउ डू वी टेक द प्रिफिक्स सम हियर इफ वन मीन्स इट विल बी द सम ऑफ ऑल दीज फोर टूगेदर राइट ऑल दीज फोर टूगेदर ना वॉट इज दिस ओके फॉर टाइम बींग लेट मी टेक द सम एवरी थिंग डन नाउ फॉर थ्री वॉट इज दिस थ्री विल बी थ्री प्लस वन प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो राइट सो थ्री प्लस वन इज वॉट फोर स्टिल वी डिड नॉट जनरेट द फॉर्मुला वी आर जस्ट फाइंडिंग आउट नाउ फॉर टू टू इज द सम ऑफ ऑल दिस एब एंड लेफ्ट टू प्लस वन इज थ्री हाउ डिड वी गेट दिस इज थ्री प्लस वन प्लस जीरो 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 वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग जीरो बिकॉज इट इज सेम नाउ फॉर दिस वी आर टेकिंग टू प्लस वन वन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस नाउ नोट इज केयरफुली फॉर फाइव वॉट यू टेक फाइव थ्री जीरो 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 वन जीरो टू सो फाइव मीन्स एवरीथिंग दैट इज टैक्ड ऑन लेफ्ट ऑफ इट एंड टॉप ऑफ इट एवरीथिंग विल बी द सम ऑफ इट राइट आई नीड टू टेक ऑल द सम सो हाउ डू आई टेक द सम नाउ जीरो आई एम नॉट कंसिडरिंग नाउ बिकॉज इट आंसर विल बी सेम फाइव प्लस टू इज सेवन सेवन प्लस वन इज एट एट प्लस थ्री इज हाउ मच नाइन टेन लेवन सो लेवन इज द वैल्यू बट कैन आई कीप लेवन हियर यस यू हैव टू कीप लेवन But then, what is the generalized solution? The generalized solution, as I told earlier, should be the sum of above value and the left value. So, if you take phi here, if you take phi, what is the sum of this? Phi plus four is nine plus three. The answer became twelve. Eleven is not equal to twelve. How did this extra one came? And that is because of this reason. as you saw earlier this one right this one that is coming from the left and this one that is coming from the above is counted two times if you are taking phi here it should be the sum of 2 plus 1 plus 3 right since we already computed the sum for 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 2 we already got these values since we already got these values you simply take the sum of it 4 plus 3 plus 5 you would simply take it 4 means the sum of all this 3 means the sum of all this now For uh, what is this? Four plus three is how much? It is seven. Seven plus five is how much? Is this twelve? Since one has occurred two times in the array, you just have to cancel one time. So that is minus one. This diagonal. So what is that? Twelve minus one becomes eleven. And eleven is same as five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Similarly, you can build the all the arrays. The only thing here that is changing is instead of five, right? Instead of five, you need to calculate it as five square. so i'll show you with the help of what uh, they have proposed in the solution so let me um, okay so okay let's uh, try to understand this so here they calculated this right the, okay now let's assume that i represents each of the rows here i represents each of the rows and j represents the diagonal because we will be computing diagonally right so if i uh, erase all of this and see 1 i'll compute it then 2 and 3 i'll compute it then 4 5 6 i'll compute it that is i calculated as prefix sum also says like that you go for 1 then you calculate for 2 3 then 4 5 6 anyway you can do so i just showed you this example so you should uh, next calculate this value then only you have to calculate this what did they do here they are going for j i minus j so uh, what this formula generally means is that you take the left value plus above whatever be the up value so up makes more sense here that is uh, so uh, in this case they wrote something like uh, okay j minus 1 is up right up plus j i minus j minus 1 that is left value minus the diagonal value diagonal cell as i told the diagonal will contain a duplicate right so we are subtracting the diagonal plus current square instead of phi we have to put phi square so that is current square so we will generate uh, till 2023 rows or 1500 or that much number of rows we are able to generate now at a stretch we are computing the box so everything will be calculated before the test case starting itself so everything is calculated then we exactly don't know which number maps to which right suppose h square is there but we don't know the i and j index wherever it is there so what we do we will store everything like this so we will store the answer in a separate array so answer of 1 so i say that answer of 1 will be this then once i go here answer of 2 these these are all arrays okay answer of 2 will be uh, 
सम एक्स वैल्यू एंड आंसर ऑफ फाइव सिमिलरली आंसर ऑफ थ्री कम्स वाई वैल्यू एंड आंसर ऑफ फाइव विल बी सम अदर वैल्यू करंट रिप्रेजेंट्स द इंटीजर द नंबर ऑन द नेक्स्ट हाइड्रेशन वेन यू मूव डायरेक्टली फर्स्ट यू गेट द आंसर ऑफ वन फॉर करंट आंसर ऑफ टू आंसर ऑफ थ्री आंसर ऑफ फोर फाइव सिक्स यू जस्ट कीप कंप्यूटिंग इट आंसर इज डन नाउ आफ्टर एवरीथिंग इज डन you will get uh, n value as the input that is you are inputting the n value once you get the input value you can directly make sure answer of n right you can directly map it because we have already pre computed it that's all so what did we do we got an uh, uh, stack like this from the picture then they are telling that all the adjacent cans will be deleted so we have to see a pattern so we change the shape la twisted it to left to see whether something similar happens here or not after that we understood everything that is on the left side and everything that is on the right side that entire uh, square is affected uh, cans we need to sum it we can't individually do it because it will go for a tle time limit exceeded so before that sk starting itself we'll calculate for like uh, 10 power 6 right so it's like uh, we need to generate for at least 10 power 6 answers from 1 2 3 4 to 10 power 6 or more at least then after this is done we are storing the value like uh, pre computation of sum i showed you right similar to this we'll do for uh, uh, this modified version of the problem that is till we just use square for the 2d prefix sum then after that is done whenever we are getting a number like n we already computed the answer value then uh, you can directly output it so starting from this like it's very hard to actually relate both of these pictures so once we were able to derive from this picture to this picture and uh, if we know what already a 2d prefix sum is this will be much more simpler so i hope this video at least gave you some idea about the problem i would suggest you to please go to the editorial editorial also they wrote the same thing to try it so i just thought of putting a video for it so that's it guys thank you and if you like the video please uh, comment down